Speaker to raise a matter of urgent public importance. Mr. Speaker had to do with a, a leak tape making the rounds. Mr. Speaker he has gone to the mainstream media, and as I stated, the minister himself has confirmed it, that yesterday he was ambushed and he was forced to speak to the issue. Mr. Speaker, in that leak tape, and the reason why it's important, borders on two very important things. A critical institution, which is the Ghana Police Service, and the head, which is the IGP, and the stability of our country and our democracy. In the said leak tape, Mr. Speaker, alleged leak tape, there were purported uh, senior members of the MPP who had met allegedly a, a senior police officer discussing the Asinot election, the, uh, the role of the IGP, and how he did not lead the effort in allowing the MPP. Um, yes. That was Mr. Yes, a minute. yes, a minute. Hold on. Yes, Minister Mr. for Interior. Speaker, the Honourable Member started by quoting me, allegedly, as having confirmed. I confirmed nothing. I haven't confirmed anything. I made it clear that there was not going to be any sacking of the IGP and he was satisfied with his job. Full stop. Mr. Speaker, I haven't confirmed anything. And that is why we should go by an orderly manner. If you want to bring an urgent question, how can we deal with it? Why honorable, are you trying honorable, to... Honorable Minister, I think your attention was distracted by your colleague who was by you. What he referred to as having been confirmed is the fact that he was raising an issue. He was raising the issue as a statement. And that what you said just confirmed that there was such a matter which he was raising. Please, your statement this morning uh, when he raised it and I had to, to uh, ask him to resume his seat, you were commenting on what he was trying to say. So we're saying that the comment that you made has confirmed the issue that he was trying to raise. Not that you confirmed that it happened, but what he wanted to raise is what you also spoke about. That is all what he meant when he used the word confirm. Well, Mr. Speaker, you should put it well, because I only said that yesterday I was asked questions and I answered them straight away about sucking and not being satisfied with the IGP, and I answered that. Confirmed, nothing else. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I think, yes, go on, right. I think the minister was not listening to me. Mr. So Speaker, it was very clear. The only point I made about the minister was that the media asked him questions related to exactly the topic I'm talking about. I did not say that he confirmed uh, whether there was any truth to it. But this, he spoke to the issue. And, and, and that's the point I'm making. But Mr. Speaker, the, the, the real important point is that when there's a leak tape, when the leak tape, the, the issues around the leak, it has to do with the IGP, the sitting IGP. And, the attempt to remove him and the issues about 2024 election and what must be done to make sure that a new IGP is put in place who will collude with a sitting government to get a certain outcome. That must concern this parliament. It borders on the security and the stability of our country. And it's very important that the minister is here, that this house, and I'm happy he's here, that this house wants to know who are those involved? What is the authenticity of that uh, leak tape? We need to find out. And I think all I'm asking, Mr. Speaker, is that we ask the Minister of State, who is responsible for this sector, to look into the matter and to find out the truth in this matter and advise this House. And, Mr. Speaker, that is all I'm asking. Mr. Speaker, we in this country have chosen the path of democracy as the best means of meeting the aspirations and hopes of our people. Over the years, we have seen democracy as the best for this country. And Mr. Speaker, anything that will affect 
democratic consolidation in this country must be seriously looked at. The contents of the tape in circulation is a clear indication of people plotting to undermine the democracy of our country. Yes. Mr. Speaker, it is surprising that our colleagues, our colleagues on the other side, are not concerned about the consolidation of our democracy. If we do care, this is a matter of serious concern that all of us in this house must be interested in ensuring that those behind this state are exposed and dealt with so that this thing can never happen in this country. I'm surprised that we are, debate, we are arguing over this. It's a matter that all of us, all of us must speak with one voice. Mr. Speaker, we recollect the infamous Ayawasu incident. People masqueraded as policemen and violently destroyed the by election which led to the, man, the NDC withdrawing from that election. And the results went in favor of the NPP. So if anybody is telling that the police cannot be used to influence elections in this country, the person is lying, Mr. Speaker. The police can be used to influence elections in our country. And we are aware of what happened in our Senate. Mr. Speaker, in our Senate, the police maintain serene atmosphere, very peaceful atmosphere, for every voter to cast his or her vote without any form of intimidation. And the result that came was acceptable to both sides. Mr. Speaker, here's the case. Somebody is speaking, and at the center of the audio, somebody is heard uh, as talking, somebody is heard as uh, a commissioner of police talking about how they can put in place mechanisms to get rid of this IGP and then install a new one so that the process leading to elections in 2024 can be influenced. Mr. Speaker, this is a clear point to undermine elections in this country. And we, this is the house of democracy. We are the Democrats. This is the house of democracy. We want to protect the democracy we are enjoying today for the upcoming generations. And we are only asking for investigations. Yes. Nothing more than investigations. Their conduct or misconduct determine the outcome of an election. We can still talk about general security in the country. But especially in reference to uh, Honorable Agaga's statement and reference to Tetimai and others. Insecurity anywhere and under any circumstance should be condemned. But impression should not be created that a, a, an appointment of a particular IGP of a real government determines the outcome of an election. It doesn't support it. There's nothing that supports it. And so it's important that if you are saying there's a, I mean, a tape, whether it should be investigated or not, rather than speaker. I have no problem with your bosom. But to go ahead and comment on it and create the impression that a particular IGP in place determines the outcome of election is wrong. Well. Speaker, thank you. The speaker, let me put it on record that no IGP, no serving military officer can determine an election in this country. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Speaker, the, the, the IGP is one person. The, Pre President Rawlings had the IGP and seven security officers and lost to the MPP. President Kufour had appointed an IGP and other security officers, and the MPP lost to the NDC. So, John Mahama, President Mahama, had seven officers, an IGP, and seven security officers, and the NDC lost. So, so <laughs> there's nothing about an interference by an IGP to cost any party an election. Mr. Speaker, there are clear rules in this House where a 
committee set out by this House can look into such matters. And I believe that if there is any apprehension on the other side, the Defense and Interior Committee is seized with every power to look into it. The opportunity. The Deputy Leader, the Honorable Kofi Amabwa, the Speaker, have sought your indulgence to come under our standing orders on a matter of urgent public importance. And the Speaker, as I have listened to him and my colleagues, particularly the Honorable Minister for Interior and the Honorable Patrick Wama, the Speaker, it's a truism that there is a leaked tape. With leaked tape contains matters relating to the conduct of the Inspector General of Police and efforts and attempts at a conspiracy to seek his removal on the basis of those allegations in that tape. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the primary duty and responsibility of the President and by extension to the Minister of Interior is the safety and security of its citizens, which is vested rightly in the hands of the Inspector General of Police. And by extension to preserve our democracy, and Mr. Speaker, we collectively, we collectively want to preserve this democracy. Yes. So what the Deputy Leader is seeking is that the Honorable Minister, this House must take interest in conducting a thorough forensic audit yes. into the leaked tape. Mr. Speaker, in order to establish the veracity or otherwise of what is contained in that thing. And more importantly, Mr. Speaker, to preserve the professional integrity of the Inspector General of Police and to protect him thereon. And probably, Mr. Speaker, when we probe it and we are satisfied, we may even decide that going forward in this country, this is the way we want an IGP to be determined or appointed. Ghana, we don't have the independent police commission, even when they themselves do wrong, they preside over their own matter. We probably, Mr. Speaker, as a consequence, if you authorize this investigation, we may decide that tomorrow, in the appointment of an inspector general of police, let adopt a different and a new approach. Without you can amend the constitution, can we can decide not to vest it in the present. It can be in the hands, as is done in many other countries, in order. But Mr. Speaker, I wouldn't have risen until I heard Honorable Patrick Buama that the Honorable Amabua in speaking they cannot even identify. That makes his case even more important. Because the identity of the persons are not known, it is only through such forensic thorough audit you would establish those behind it. And Mr. Speaker, we do so not just for the professional integrity of the IGP and to preserve and protect him and empower him to ensure that elections in this country, even tomorrow, are conducted in a manner. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure you have always thought as that. The word free and fair have constitutional meaning when the constitution says that elections shall be conducted in a manner which is free. Free from what? Free from fear, free from intimidation, free from influence. It has a meaning. So free and then fair. So Mr. Speaker, to preserve our democracy and to protect the professional integrity of the Inspector General of Police and to appreciate what Dan Parry is doing in preserving this, we are requesting for a parliamentary inquiry into this matter. So, investigating the tapes, I have no difficulty. I have no difficulty in investigating the tapes. But, I need to put it in context. That number one, the government is committed to free and fair election 2024. The government has no plan to sack IGP and please, please. And we are sure that nothing will be allowed to disturb the peace from now until 2024. So, Mr. Mr. Speaker, to investigate the leaked stuff, I have no problem with it. 
provided you are not linking it the way they are linking it. And even going on to say that we are behind the things. Most unfortunate. So, Mr. Speaker, investigating statements on media, leaks, statements, anything that has the tendency to destroy the peace and security, I am for it. And let nobody go away thinking otherwise. Except to say that they were making statements, presumptions that try to link it to elections. And I said that I don't want it to be linked. But yes, let every citizen in this country know that anything that appears on the social media, and they, a number of them, have called me on issues like that we have investigated them. So in principle, to investigate social media leakages as far as it concerns security, I have no problem with it. That sittings be held outside the prescribed period. Um, honorable members, I've listened to you. I think more questions have been raised than answers. There's the need for an investigation. But going by the standing orders, I have to give proper direction as to the nature, the type of investigation. And so going by the same standing order 72, the last sentence says, the terms of any such proposed statement shall first be submitted to Mr. Speaker. So I will urge the maker of the agent statement to submit in writing the terms of the proposed statement which he just gave us notice. This will guide me to give the direction as to how the investigation or inquiry be conducted by the appropriate committee of the House. And so I direct that a statement be submitted in writing to me to assist me perform my duties. Thank you.